Hello everyone, welcome back. So this time we're going to be talking about three new terms for all of us. Let me get my pin up. There we go. Three new terms. Eutectic, eutectoid, and peritectic. Okay, so what do these mean? Well, eutectic is when a liquid transforms to two solid phases. So one liquid, two different solid phases. And when we're talking about solid phases, well, what do we mean? Well, there's various things that it can mean, but the biggest things are that usually there's multiple components in what we're working with. And so one of those components is going to be primarily one structure, like in this case it could be lead, and the other component would be primarily the other structure, which would be tin. So the beta structure is primarily tin, it's got some lead atoms in there, however those lead atoms are not determining the structure. The way that it's shaped, the way that they bond, that's all tin in there and the lead is just an impurity. Same with the alpha. It's all lead there, and then the tin is an impurity. So, one way or the other. Now, eutectoid is when we go from one solid phase and it transforms to two other solid phases. So, what does this mean? Well, this gamma iron right here, it depends on what we're looking at. This gamma iron has some of this intermetallic compound, um, sorry, um, before it gets heated up, this gamma iron. Um, does not exist. And all we have is what's called alpha iron, which is ferrite, and this very, very hard compound called cementite. However, when we get above a certain temperature, the cementite disappears, and our alpha iron transforms into this gamma iron, which is like a new structure. Um, think like body-centered cubic versus face-centered cubic. Or it was zigzag lines before, and now it's straight lines. This different things like that might happen. It's just a new way of structuring itself. It's ordered, it's regular, and it's different. The last one is finally we'll have a mixture of a liquid in one solid phase and will transform to a second solid phase. We also see this in iron. There's a delta iron, which is a very, very hot section. And if you have the liquid there and the delta iron, it can cool to form gamma iron. And if that cools, it will possibly form alpha, which is ferrite, and our cementite right here. So one of the things we've been talking about right now, as I mentioned, cementite it was an intermetallic compound. So an intermetallic compound exists as a line on this diagram. It's a straight up and down line, not a horizontal line, straight up and down. And the reason it's a line is because that is its stoichiometry. It has to occur at that point, and it can only occur at that point. So this intermetallic compound is going to be roughly 80% manganese and, um, the, sorry, um, it's going to have two manganese and one lead and it happens when the composition of our alloy, sorry, is 80% manganese, sorry, 80% lead, goodness, I'm going the wrong direction, um, and 20% manganese then. Okay. So these straight lines you'll see are important. One we're going to see in a minute is for cementite, which is for those iron alloys. And when you are in these big regions right here, you will have some structure plus a mixture of that intermetallic compound. Now what we're looking at right here is the copper zinc phase diagram. The reason we're looking at it is because I want to show you um, where you can see a eutectoid transformation that's two different careful there, different um, solid structures, and then they combine into one single solid structure. So right here, this gamma structure, it is primarily, well I can't even say primarily, but um, it has more copper than the rest of the structures. And then this one over here is much, much more, more zinc. Now in both cases you can see that this is actually more zinc either time, but um, either way, there's one structure here and there's another here, and those are mixed in this point. What that means is maybe I have straight lines in one point, and then for the other structure, I have zigzag lines right next to each other. Okay? So these are mixed. There's a lot of them in one place and another place, and they're all around each other. But they do not form one structure together. When we go to delta... We're not just saying, okay, well, we're now making it ordered and there's a zigzag line right here. It is some new structure entirely. Now, it very well could.
could look something like this. So I'm downing the zigzag lines. I'm just trying to draw things with one color. And many times what you'll see is kind of a zebra stripe pattern where you'll have one component in the middle and the other components surrounding it. And so that might be how the structure changes. It goes from maybe like separate sections, like little balls, to kind of that zebra stripe pattern. Now another point we can see here is a peritetic transformation. It's where we have this gamma plus the liquid, the L, the capital L, stands for liquid. All these Greek letters are for different solid phases, different solid structures. They're all made of copper and zinc in this case, but they're just different structures, different ways of those copper and zinc atoms ordering themselves. And so up here you see a point where I go from a single solid structure, gamma, plus some liquid down to a, another solid structure, which is delta. So that'll be it for this time. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.